In our previous video, we saw how to thumbnail an image with Thumbnailator. Now we're going to see how to make a watermark on an image. It won't take too long, so let's get started. First, I made a quick and dirty watermark just using GIMP, and I placed it under our Photos directory. It's really simple. It just says copyright plainplaces.com, and obviously I need to update the date, but nonetheless, you get the idea. So now we're going to go to the process photo method, which is listening to our queue when a new file has been uploaded. What we'll do here is we'll say thumbnails.of and then file just as we did before. Now we need to say scale and we'll simply say one and then we'll say watermark. And now we'll say position bottom right, which is where we want the watermark to be. Next, we have to have the watermark image, which we'll get in just a moment. And then finally, a uh, transparency indicator. And then we say to file. And in this case, we're going to say we want to modify the original image. So I'm simply going to pass the file right back in. That's the file that represents the image that has been uploaded. Now, we still need a watermark image. So for that, let's see. First, I'm going to do a bit of refactoring because this isn't actually the thumbnail path. It's actually the, whoops, it's actually the photo path. That looks a lot better. Now what we'll do is we'll say watermark path. Well, it's, I'll tell you, we'll say string watermark path equals photo path plus file separator. And then the name of the watermark photo is photo, simply watermark.png, like so. Let's so make a string that represents that. And then from that, we can make a file. File watermark photo watermark file equals new file watermark path. Now from that we can go to I O U T uh, uh, sorry image I O oops and invoke the read method and we simply need to pass in that watermark file as an argument. That will return to us a buffered image. We'll just call it watermark. And now we finally have our last argument over here, watermark. So what thumbnail later will do, one moment, probably I uh, need to import this. So import, just like so. And it wouldn't surprise me if this has throws an exception. So I'm going to move this down into the try block. Okay, and save. Now what thumbnail later is going to do is it's going to take a look at this original file, and then it's going to take the watermark and it's going to paste it over that original file. So let's start things up and take a look. I'll go ahead and upload a new file. Uh, that's probably a crazy longitude, isn't it? Let's pick a better longitude. And with a bit more magic, we will end up with our new plant and our oak. And let's pick this Mahonia right here. So Mahonia 3. And I'm going to go ahead and hit upload, and I expect to see a few breakpoints hit here. The first breakpoint that's going to hit is in the producer to the queue, so I'll go ahead and let that play through. We know that's going to put a message onto the queue. As soon as it puts a message onto the queue, the consumer wakes up and reads that message. We can run back and take a look at our ActiveMQ console and confirm that we see one message waiting on the queue. There we go, number of pending messages, one. And now let's go ahead and play through the consumption of that item off the queue. First thing it does is read the watermark image and apply it on top of the existing image. And now it's going to resize that image. So read the watermark and then apply it on top of the image, essentially put one on top of the other, and then resize. And no exceptions were thrown, so I'm hopeful that we're going to get results that we like. So let's go ahead and go back to our plant places photos. And I'm going to refresh this directory. Note right now I have a couple of items and thumbnails, but watch what happens when I choose refresh. Uh, sure enough, we have our plant places. Uh, let's see, one moment, please. Let's try that one more time. Let me refresh right on thumbnail. Okay, there we go. And there's our Mahonia 3, which has been resized. Now, I can zoom up on this a little bit, but it will be a little tricky to see. I can kind of see it right here, but a little tricky to see the watermark on the resized version. Let's go ahead and go to the full version. I'll simply choose properties here, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the full version, Mahonia 3. I double click and I zoom up and you can see sure enough right there in the corner, copyright 2015 plainplaces.com. So it applied the watermark on top of our existing image. So in this video, we've seen an easy way to watermark an image with thumbnail later. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. You can find the source code for this on my GitHub. Thank you.